I've tried squeegee painting on a canvas, on a cardboard puzzle and a clock puzzle and now we'll try it on a shoebox. I first primed the shoebox with gesso to prepare it for painting and prevent the cardboard from soaking up too much paint. I mixed in some blue acrylic paints to tint the white gesso so I could also get the background painted blue at the same time. I couldn't prime the whole thing at once because of the lid. I managed to get some paint splatters on my white desk despite the painting mat but they came off easily with water while they were still a bit wet. After a couple of hours I did the second layer with the lid open this time so I could paint all parts at once. The recommended drying time for the gesso is 24 hours but I let it dry a lot longer since it took me a while to figure out that I wanted to dry squeegee painting on it. So for the squeegee painting I propped it open with a long brush and then squeezed paint blobs onto the lid. I used a mix of more runny and more solid paints, more opaque and more translucent ones and my plan was to do the front of the lid, the top of the lid and the back of the box in the first go. But the blobs on the front started dripping down so I had to do it fast. I was going to pull them up with the squeegee then go down the top of the lid but because of the angle I could not continue down the back but instead I had to pull the remainder of the paint up the back. I tried dragging the paint in a curved line and it turned out to be pretty difficult. The paint coverage was really patchy I think I had too many different colors and trying to do multiple sides at once made it too hard. I was going to give this box to my nephew as a memory box or storage box and I felt like this was a fail so far and I couldn't give him this. So I tried fixing it by hand since I figured it couldn't get much worse than this. I tried painting outlines with a brush and then adding some paint blobs and dragging them with the end of a ruler. Once that was dry I moved on to the sides of the box with the lid open. I used more narrowed down color choices this time but it was still difficult since I had to do three sides at once turning to shoebox for each new side. I ran out of paint and had to add some paint blobs for the second side though. I like the side where the paint blobs start but on the other sides the paints are just mixing together and not in a smooth way. I also ended up adding some extra paint from a different squeegee painting I was doing at the same time. I was still feeling like it was a fail and that this technique just doesn't work on cardboard but then I decided to lean into the messy look and add dots and circles and dashed lines and arrows and whirls with metallic paint pens and it ended up looking more cohesive and I'm glad I finished it after all. Finally I covered it with contact paper after it was dry to make it more durable. Some squeegee paintings turn out better than others and I would say my favorite was the one on a wooden cube puzzle which you can find in this video here. See you then!